Hey gang, just a quick one here today. I got myself a new vacuum press, which I'm pretty thrilled about because I've wanted one for a long time. And also uh, now that I'm doing double top classical designs, it's practically a necessity. So I'm bracing this back and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. First thing I'm doing here is using a sanding block to knock off the sharp corners and edges of the braces because those will be uh, pressed up against the thin skin of the vacuum bag and I don't want them to puncture it. After that, we'll get some glue on them. I'm using uh, tight bond style aliphatic glue. You can see that I've uh, planed the braces into the 20 foot um, arc of the uh, back radius, which is kind of a moderate curve. I don't like a really extreme uh, radius on the backs. So get just enough glue on there, uh, just for a little bit of squeeze out. Don't want a whole lot of it gobbing up everything and messing stuff up. We'll put that in place and then the entire thing gets set inside the vacuum bag on top of my radius dish. The white surface is a platen with grooves cut into it that uh, helps the evacuation of the air. Then we'll use a special dowel and C-channel clamping arrangement that they give you with the system. And when I turn on the vacuum pump, uh, it removes all of the air inside the bag and subjects the contents to the full crushing weight of the atmosphere, which is about 13 pounds per square inch. So it's kind of like you're putting a 120 pound clamp on each of these braces. But uh, the pressure is spread out over the entire surface. It's very even, very nice. See there's a little bit of glue squeeze out there. So after about five minutes, I'll take it out of the bag and using what Eric Idle once called a pointed stick in uh, a Monty Python skit that I'm quite fond of. I'll get rid of that uh, little bit of squeeze out, clean it up nice. Um, the uh, the braces actually dried really quick in the vacuum bag, faster than you would expect. It only took about 90 seconds for the air to uh, be evacuated. So once I get this cleaned up, I'll put it back in the bag and leave it there for about another hour. When those are dry, I'll get out my cute little brass plane and we'll start working on the profile of the braces, which in this Torres guitar is uh, kind of nicely rounded. This mahogany plane is really nice. It's a dream to work with. And this is actually another guitar uh, with a slightly more triangular brace pattern. And you can see here I've got a very, very sharp chisel. And this is fun stuff, making little curly cues. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.